many of you are familiar with scratch and if you have played blockly games you are better equipped to do advanced stuff in scratch so for example if you played music in blockly you might have written a program to play music we can do the same thing in scratch for example or if in blockly games you use this movie to create shapes then in scratch you can do pretty amazing stuff like on a click of a button you can draw lots of geometrical shapes in scratch just by dragging and dropping a few programming blocks we can write a small script to generate multiplication table for any number so it says enter a number you want the multiplication table for and i say let's say 7 and it gives me the table of 7 up to 7 times 10 or i can even i i can take a a a very big number and it will still create the table up to a multiple of 10 not just multiplication table you can write this very short script to generate square root of any number so if it says find the square root of a number enter a number so if i say 16 and i know the square root of 16 is 4 so the program says the square root is 4 or if i say 9 i know the square root is 3 or i can um, put something like 2 and it will tell me 1.414 or i can give a, a a big number and it will give me the square root not only that you can create some very interesting games in scratch so for example here is a maze game i can operate this character and i have to avoid touching the blue lines and find my way to the cake so if i touch the blue line i just go back to the start you can also create really interesting games like this car race and if it touches the black line the game is over and the idea is you have to go across the track to the finish line maybe you have played a space invader game now using scratch you can write code to make your own game complete with scoring and lives have a look scratch offers some pretty advanced stuff like this is me while recording the video and this is a game which works on video sensing so just watch so it's sensing the touch my touch and i have to guide the parrot and take it to the balloon so i hope you are excited about learning scratch you can go to scratch on your mobile phone or laptop or pc on on the web browser just go to scratch.mit.edu and you can start creating or scratch is also a free app on android once you are inside scratch then it's better to create your login because then you can save all the programs that you make so you come here and you have a username and some password and you join scratch scratch for free and once you do that then you can save all the programs the advantage of logging into scratch is that if someone else has allowed you to remix the project then you can take a, you can take that project just hit remix and you then get the program somebody else has created and then you can add to that program and make it more complex or add more functionality etc if you want to learn scratch there is this great website called cs first computer science first dot with google dot com 
So this is a free online resource created by the Google team and they have some amazing video tutorials on this website. So if you go here to curriculum, you will get a sense of all that this website can help you learn. So they give you activities which uh, if you're a beginner, then you should start with these one hour activities. And here they will introduce you to many things like how does scratch work? How do you create a background? What are sprites? How to program the sprites? How to get a simple dialogue going or narration, etc. And then uh, you can create more things like, you know, you can animate your name or for example, this adventures on high seas. If I look inside, the way CS first works is that they give you step-by-step -step instructions. So there are these very short videos giving you step-by-step -step instructions to create what they are calling adventure on the high seas. And here you will learn about loops and events and sequencing, just like you did in Blockly, but here you will create more interesting stuff. So if you click the first video, in the first video, it's just a two minute video. And if you play, you'll create an adventure story with two, you'll create your own animated story. This is an activity for the Google Computer Science Club, CS First. Com and here they have the transcript. If you don't want to watch the whole video, you can read the transcript and you have the playback speed that you can either slow down or make it fast. And then once you have completed this video, you go to the next video and here they will start teaching you step by step how to create this animated story. They also provide these links and they explain exactly how these links will work. So this will give you some starting material for this project and then you can write the code. So if I go back to the curriculum on CS first, then starting with some simple activities to more complicated things like making animation, etc. You can come to even more advanced stuff like storytelling. And they are saying that this, these activities will take some time to create and you can go all the way to creating some amazing games. You can start learning scratch on your own by going to CS first dot with google.com website and then go into curriculum and start with some simple stuff if you're new to scratch or if you are familiar with scratch then you can try some more complicated things and on cs first you don't have to sign in to access all this material but if you do sign in then you can save your work and also monitor what all you have done and what is remaining and they also give you some badges etc for motivation so go ahead and create some fun stuff on Scratch and share it with your friends and on the group.